CQC inspections and how to get the most out of them. I have many clients come to me um, after the event to say, we've had a requires improvement rating and it really doesn't justify, doesn't demonstrate what a great service we run. How can providers actually sort of deal with, manage the inspection process better so that they get the best possible ratings um, at the end of the process? Well, what I say in particular is that you have to prepare for that inspection. You have to get your staff ready for the inspection so they're comfortable with the remit of the inspectorate in coming in. That's obviously essential. A second aspect is to ensure that you actually have the information, the evidence at hand that you can pass on to the inspectors during that inspection, demonstrating the excellent work that you do. Because inspection these days is only a snapshot in time, perhaps one day, and the inspection reports themselves will be quite short. They'll be simply a summary of uh, the issues. So what is really important for you to get across all that extra work that you do, all that innovative, creative work that you do, that will really show that you are an outstanding service. So I think that's a really key feature. Obviously manage the inspection, be a participant, uh, not a spectator, that's the key thing that you need to do. So assist the uh, inspectors so far as you are able. If they require information, provide it in a timely fashion. If you think there's an area that they haven't actually looked at, which you're doing a really good job in, raise it with them and say, look, there's this additional area that we really think that you should actually reflect in your sort of inspection. So that's all very important. Get the most out of the debrief session at the end, the feedback session, because that will be your opportunity to head off any issues, any uncertainties, any misunderstandings that the inspector may have. And then after that inspection's finished, obviously they've gone, you're probably a bit exhausted, but it's important to have your own session with your staff so that you reflect on what has actually happened during that sort of inspection. And you make a note of what has happened. Because what you shouldn't do is just simply be passive and wait for that inspection report to come two or three weeks down the line. If there are any issues, go back, provide clarification. If they've asked for documentation, get it back to CQC within the next 24 or 48 hours. This is your opportunity, before you get the draft inspection report, to really influence its shape and its content and the provisional ratings. So best of luck with your inspection.